being recorded live from across these great United States. Sometimes we like to play with other things, but let's play with ourselves! So the video just started, and, uh, the, well, the recording, rather, and you just froze with your face smiling up at the heavens, and all I heard was, <laughs> That's actually all I was doing. I really? You're like, <laughs> Anyway, I always fuck this up. Hold on, let's do it again. <sighs> Hello, <laughs> Hello, folks, and welcome to Let's Play With Ourselves. I am one of your hosts. Game of Pixie 222, and with me is the fabulous Paul Rodenberg. Come on, Paul. I like to be fabulous, thank you. Mm, flaunt your stuff, baby. <laughs> That's how you flaunt things, by the way. This is the show where Paul makes weird noises and I emulate them. <laughs> That's why I don't have a lot of women knocking down my door. Cause I'm like, maybe the lady's like, no. They probably assume the there's already a lady in there. In where? In your room. They're like, oh, I don't, I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to <laughs> knock down that guy's door. He's probably dealing with a woman. <laughs> okay. It makes it sound like I have terrible gas. <laughs> yeah, you got a nurse in there. That's the woman. Okay. Yeah. So, what's new, man? This is our second episode. By the way, uh, before we forget, because we did forget in the last episode, we would like to say, and you can help me out here, Paul, because when I explain things, it sounds like I'm speaking Greek but not as cool, actually. Um, stuff about what were we going to... We want people to leave comments and ask us questions and all that. That was the gist. We've left that out of the last episode. If you have questions, just leave it in the comments. We'll read them, and then we'll answer them in the next show. I feel like I'm butchering this, but that's pretty much what we no, wanted no, no, to no, say, No, 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 you right? did good. Yep, that was the gist of it, like you said. The gist uh, of it. We had a lot of awesome comments, and thanks to everybody who listened to... Mm -hmm, the first time, uh, which now I just, oh boy, we're having that, that second hit wonder going on right so now. So what is, what is new with you? Uh, what's new with me is I got through the work week and that was really difficult because, you know, we were talking about crap and it was a difficult week. I, uh, I bought a new game to Let's Play. I'm really excited about that. So Can I ask what it is or is it a secret? It actually has secret in the title. <laughs> It's Secret Agent Barbie. You see that you had to catch a little illness there and then get rid of it before I was <laughs> yeah, done I talking. Don't, I don't have a way to mute my mic. So. I can't mute my coughs, jeez. Yeah, but this is the tagline for Secret Agent Barbie. Oh, and Garrett actually played this um, game before, but we kind of do a tag. Well, we sort of do a tag team of Barbie games, and the tagline for this game is Travel the World with Secret Agent Barbie. And there's TM did after you, everything. Did you, did you just say the two of you tag team Barbie? Games. <laughs> we <laughs> oh, tag team oh, Barbie okay, games. Okay. I used to, I, well, I mean, I played with Barbies as a kid. I didn't touch them or anything. Well, I had to touch them to play with them, but whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I made this go in a weird, awkward You place did, but I'm, I'm fine. Secret Agent Barbie to solve... Okay, this doesn't make any sense. Travel the world with Secret Agent Barbie to solve the ultimate super spy mission... Okay, is it a mystery or a mission? Or is there a mystery in the mission? It doesn't make any sense. Solve the mission, Paul. That's like if someone, if the answer to a math problem was already written and you said to solve the answer. And you're like, whoa, what the fuck? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you question a Barbie game that you're like, ah, I don't I'm not buying this. I'm not! Well, I mean, I played this as a kid, so it'll be fun to let's play. Um, another thing that's new with me is <laughs> I uh my dog got injured today or something he was limping and my brother was like oh sh he likes to be in the car so we're like oh we should take him for a little drive <laughs> it kind of sounds like we're gonna just like go in the middle of nowhere and throw him out <laughs> and then leave <laughs> but we did I thought you meant your brother likes to go for drives I thought that's my brother does like to go for drives actually we we're both like that instead of smoking or drinking we like going for drives I mean it's just as expensive honestly but uh we were driving around in uh I was like, oh, so I, I don't like driving with people in the car because I'm really self-conscious of how people see me drive. <laughs> and um, I we were driving down this like dead end road that went to like off roading. And I was like, oh, crap, well, I'll turn around. So I was like backing up, kind of doing this turn around. And it's on a cliff. So I kind of be, be careful. Yeah, everything's like cliffside around here. And uh, my brother was re singing a song 
that was in a video game that we used to play when we were kids. It was Jumpstart First Grade, so if anyone knows what that is, he was singing that theme. But he was replacing the lyrics with kind of super sexual terms. And I laughed, and then I hit the back of my car on a whole bunch of rocks on the mountainside. So I literally just crashed my car backwards into something. And that happened today, so... How's your day going? <laughs> well, any anything I complain about now in comparison isn't that big of a deal. Well, no, you can. It does. It did show up on my car. It doesn't look like it got hit, but it made the loudest oh, okay. sound, and it was really funny because I was just laughing. Like, two two tips for if you're ever in a car with Gamer Pixie, don't touch me or talk about something funny because then I will crash the car. So, so basically your rules are don't touch me and shut the fuck up. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Because I'm already sitting there being like, ah oh, shit, maybe I should have uh, uh, signaled earlier. Maybe they don't think I'm cool or something. <laughs> Just like being an idiot. No, I understand. I get driving anxiety at times too. Mm -hmm. I, so. I think people are following me on the way home from work. So that's a nice thing. So I'm going to open my Arizona tea. Sorry, I don't have the diet soda, which someone did say uh, in our previous video that I should get a soda stream. And that's a good idea, but I here's the problem. I'm in, like, taboo. I, I'm not supposed to have soda in the house because certain people want to drink it but can't drink it. So I can't really have a soda stream. So good idea, but not for me. At least not yet. So, not yet. Yeah, when I move out. But I got a Sobe here, so. Saving the soda for the apocalypse. <laughs> good. Well, I guess the new stuff with me, because I'll let you take a sip of your delicious Arizona. I said um, Sobe just now, didn't I? Go ahead. Um, I make those. I, I've been playing uh, more MLB, finishing my Tiger LP. I'm almost done with the regular season. Hmm. And then earlier this uh, week, I did a game called Giles Journey, and it's, it's a visual novel. It's kind of like a dating sim, semi, like medieval type shit. Esque. But it, it's it's got an adult theme, and by adult theme, I mean if you make certain choices, there's a graphic sexual stuff on, that Are, it shows. Oh really? How did you do <laughs> like that? Well, I ended up censoring it and. Oh, oh. Go ahead. <laughs> that's what I was gonna complain. I had so many viewers who were like, "Why did you censor it?" I'm like, "Well, number one, if you want to play the game, I put a link so you can see your own nudity. Number mm -hmm. two, YouTube's kind of a dick about that stuff anyway. So kind of Puritans about nudity. So, so that's all you're doing. What did you? What else did you do? <laughs> I was making well, it sound the, underwhelming. What you're doing? I'm like, uh, oh, well, really? Uh, that was the big thing. It took a while to censor it, and like when the na lady's butt was on screen, I put a moon over it. I just little stupid things like that that made me laugh. Did the moon have a face? No, it should have. <laughs> Aw, you should do the moon <laughs> from Majora's Mask. Just like, ah, really angry on her butt. Now I wish I could go back and redo that. Whatever. I bet censoring stuff is a pain. I never. I think I, the only thing I've started censoring is my Super Mario Galaxy LP, and I actually didn't censor the second episode and i do drop the f-bomb so it's kind of stupid that i censor it at all now because i'm just censoring it against the f-bomb because i'm like oh, i know kids want to watch this but well that's I, nice and classy of you I, I talk about like innuendos all the time in that so i don't know i'm kind of a dreamworks uh, representative right now i'm like ha, 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 sexual innuendo but it's for kids yeah you know it's like bestiality <laughs> oh look kids like doesn't DreamWorks do that? Like Disney, they have like bestiality. Bestiality. It's been a while since I watched a DreamWorks film. Apparently. Well, you know, I'm an ogre, and you're a girl. Uh, ogres are different species, right? Well, but the other lady was an ogre too. Just it was at night. You know, at night. <laughs> she did the nasty, the green nasty at night. Paul, come on. <laughs> Be more I, professional. I, I, I never even thought of that before as, like, bestiality, and you're like, no, I've, I've, I put the work into it. I've thought about this it's during like, the day. Don't care. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> oh, Trey, come me. on. Give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about bullshit right now. This is going to be our most bullshit episode ever, but I love it. Because it sounds like we're actually just talking I like, to ourselves. I like, you ru I like you ruining Shrek for me. Now next time I see it, I'll be like, oh. I watched the musical recently, and not that it ruined Shrek, it just made it different for me. Shrek the musical on Netflix. If you have Netflix, check it out. Is it like live action? Yeah. Like Broadway. Mm. I'll pass on that, but thanks. No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It no, it's just dumb. 
and then like there's oh god the princess parts are really good though if you if you know if you know anything about music which you do and you folks out there it's pretty good it's pretty well put together i think the worst parts are the parts with shrek and the donkey yeah. and for what it's worth i do like princess parts so <laughs> i thought you said parts and for some reason i just thought you were talking about farts <laughs> i was like whoa whoa paul this is a family show i'm sorry you guys this is a family show this is not we don't need your your princess part fetish here so i was watching uh i was reading a lot of porn yesterday <laughs> I didn't transition. Does that, that make well. it, does that make it classier? Does that make it classier if you don't look at it if you read it? I read my porn like I read my men. Black and white. <laughs> so you date zebra men is what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> Isn't that the song they make? Men. Zebra men. Zebra men. They're like, oh, oh you mean men in general? Back. I've we've come back from the great zebra men war. <laughs> Almost all of our race has died out. We need to reproduce. With your finest, your finest comedic male. And I'm like, I know a guy. He loves zebras. I was, I thought, I thought up until the end, I thought that was your fantasy. And then you slipped the, into a man with, and I'm like, what? What? Uh, no, my fantasies will come later when we have, when we reach that part of the show. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, what's new with me? Bullshit. No, doing a lot of work. Got paid. Put that money in the bank. Foe. In a um, foe. Apparently you're that food. That noodle. Since you created your whole, whole zebra man world, like, <laughs> video, video game wise, oh. like, what, if you could be, like, in any video game, video game world, <laughs> like, what one would you be in? Oh, my God. Oh, that's a good question. Mr. Transition. <laughs> I love you. Anyway, so... Uh, Wait, I'm going to stop the show a second. We're going to keep recording. Are you going to cut is, that out? This is, no, 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 we're not cutting that. Oh. Every time I do a smooth transition, every time I do Gamer Picks, he's like, hey, look at the segue he did. I'm like, <laughs> I'll stop that. I'll stop it. I'll stop <laughs> no, it. it's okay. It's fucking, it, it's, I'm sorry. It's just, it's funny because like, to me, my brain's going off on like, fuck, apples, you know, candy. And he's like, he's got the paper and he's like, yeah, zebra guys. What world would you like to live in? <laughs> I'm like, I don't. I thought you were gonna be like video game crushes. I thought you were gonna go with that because zebra feti fetishes. Yeah. Um, you know that's a really good question because I have to weigh it honestly. Um, what video game world does anyone want to live in? Like, what? A lot of them have like cruel. They just have like cruel parts to them. You know what I'm saying? Please interject. I feel like I'm alone. Well, well. <laughs> I feel like this is a part of a conversation when you ask someone how they are because you want to say how you are. How are you? I'm doing really good today, you know? Because, like, if I could pick anyone, and this is kind of cheating, um, Telltale Games Back to the Future game, mm -hmm. that's the one. Because I'd love to have a time-traveling DeLorean, and I love the Back to the Future movies. Yeah. And... No, that would be cool, actually. I was thinking about... That's funny that you say that, because I was thinking about... Um, there was that game for the GameCube. It was Star Wars... And I forget what it's called because I suck. But it was really fun. All it was was really like flying missions. Like you blew up the Death Star and then you did the Hoth, the Battle of Hoth, which was really cool. I love Star Wars. I'd love to be in that world. Uh, that's a good. That's a good choice too. I don't know though because it's like I, I really love Silent Hill and Resident Evil, but those would be the worst worlds to be in. Like Silent Hill is like. Even if you could come back, you know, like, oh, I'm just going to be in a video game world bullshitting for, like, 20 minutes. If you get killed in Silent Hill, you might stay in Silent Hill. That's, like, you know, and then Resident Evil. Maybe, you know, if you had to be in Resident Evil or Silent Hill, probably be in Resident Evil. Because the zombies just eat you and you become a zombie. Metaphorically, there's a hell, but it's not heavily implied with Silent Hill. There is hell. And you're going to be trapped there. And then someone's going <sighs> to... Dead wives and stuff. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I love how we both start with fun adventure ones and then you go right to the exact opposite end of well, the spectrum. I mean, it would be it's, cool. it's true, though. It's true. Well, when don't you have that curiosity if someone's like, you can survive, you will be surviving in a world for like 20 minutes. Wouldn't you pick, like, if it guaranteed you'd come back? 
No, I don't. I don't need something where I'm gonna have nightmares for the rest of my life about it. I don't it. know. If anything, maybe I should have picked like one of those crappy online sex games where they're like, "There's a woman, touch her boob." She's, and she's all like, flat oh. though. You're all painted and shit. <laughs> so like, I mean, yeah, you're like, I'm gonna do her sideways because that's the only way we can do it. Because <laughs> the little cutouts. It's like Parappa the Rapper for you guys out there who know about that. Anyway, I don't. I don't think there's a Parappa the Rapper sex game, is there? Oh, oh, but I, I oh, think they, oh, oh. <laughs> Do you know Parappa the Rapper? Oh, yeah. cool. I thought you didn't know about it. Uh, actually, uh, this is... Okay, we're, I'm geeking out. But I was watching uh, Mystery Science Theater, and Mike went, kick, punch, it's all in the mind. And I was like, <laughs> holy shit! I was like, that is so cool! Oh, God. Two things I love. Um, no, I don't think it would be a sex game, but I'm just saying, like, if the characters had to reproduce in that game, I think they do it sideways. I like the important things we take on. We do take on a lot around here. This show is all about fun and, and you know, laughing at life. Life throws hot coals at us, and we have a barbecue. You must live in a violent place. You live, I, like, in a volcano. I live. I don't live in the volcano. You hit a mountain <laughs> earlier, and there's, like, <laughs> hot, like, coals falling everywhere. Well, it happens you, to both you, of us. Is your, like, family like a James Bond villain family? You're just, like, the nice kid? Yeah. No, my family has this thing where they sit in really, really big chairs and swivel around every time we walk into a room. <laughs> <laughs> like, breakfast is ready. Do they have, like, a cat that they pet? Is that? <laughs> they do. They, we eat. We're, our tables are actually women's backs. And we eat off of them. That sound seems unsanitary, but. Well, you know, the things rich people do because they're rich. Yeah. I eat sushi off of a dead woman's back. <laughs> it's the hottest thing ever. And then I snort crack off of her back as well. <laughs> so those are the things you're like, I'm going to say butt. Oh, I better not. I was going to say butt, but then the mental image of me actually like doing that off of someone's butt was a little too realistic. So I just didn't want to create... You know when you say things? In old, in old countries, <laughs> okay, in old mythology, it is said... This is funny, because if it's said, then it means it made it. If it, it's said that if you say things, you make them true. Did you know that? In old, old educational hour, you guys know something. I wish that was true more often, though, because I'd be like, I'm rich. Well, don't you say, like, I'm dead, and then you die. <laughs> How often do I do that? I do that. I'm like, I'm, I'm beat today, and I'm just like, my whole body just bruises. Oh, that's depressing. Well, my life is depressing. Anyway, so where would you want to go? If you could be in a video game, where would you want to go and why? Well, that's what I was saying, Back to the Future, because I'd love to, I'd love the time-traveling DeLorean especially. I love the whole Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. And if I had a time-traveling DeLorean, then, well, I'd probably just use it for bad things. <laughs> I think I'd, like, go back in time and beat up people who were bullies to me. But now I'm a middle-aged man, and I'd be beating up, like, eight-year-olds. <laughs> Well, Fucking yeah. Billy. Fuck you, Billy. Fuck you. Maybe you could just be in there and, like, frame them for shit they didn't do. Like, like you take the apple juice and, like, pour it on their crotch area and you're like, oh, look, she peed her pants. Because apparently girls will probably <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's going to be weird, a middle-aged man in the middle of an elementary school <laughs> doing that. Oh. You're just going to be like, why are you in this class? Look at that person who peed their pants. You'd be like, wow, all these kids need help. They're peeing in their pants. And then you make the you get the teacher to feel bad because you're like, you're a horrible teacher. Look at these children. They're, they're just not, they're, you're not teaching them enough. They're learning backwards. Or I can sit in the back of the class and be like, never going to use it every time she teaches something. You're never going to use that either. <laughs> this is a waste of time. She like, she like picks up fucking like, <laughs> she picks up like her wallet. <laughs> I'm never going to use that. You're gonna use your fucking money. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I was going somewhere with that, but it, it lost on me. Anyway. No, right. But, no, is there something about a game that you'd actually want to be... Like, because for me, yeah, I'm playing Super Mario Galaxy, and I'd love to be in that world. Because wouldn't that be fun, flying through the galaxies and hopping around and just being so happy and, like, collecting stars and, like, being in that world would be really cool. Is there any game you'd want to be in because of, like, the story or something, you know? Like Lord well, of the Rings or something. No, no, I still like the Back to the Future game because in the end it's all <laughs> I'm about. Not it's, no, <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I like it. It's no, about. That's it's cool. basically about. It. Uh, it's about two best friends. You know, one saving the other one. So. Is that what Back to the Future is about? More or less, in the end, it's about the relationship between Doc and Marty and how oh, they're okay. very different and they're best friends. <laughs> it's been a really long time since I seen those movies. Oh. Well, the first one, I really liked the first one. He's like Marty, 
<laughs> and you're like, oh, it's that guy who's, I was frozen today. <laughs> I forget what that guy's called. What's his name? Christopher Lloyd. Oh, God. Everyone's going to hate me now. They're going to be like, Paul, burn this lady alive. She didn't know who Christopher Lloyd was. I know who Christopher Lloyd is. I just forgot his name because I don't remember names. I remember faces. I'm useful. <laughs> no, I'm the same way because, like, when I was in school, I'd always have people come up to me and they'd be like, hey, Paul. And I'd be like, hey, you. And I wouldn't know who half the people were. And they'd be like, they'd like go around the corner and they'd grab their books and pull them close to their bosom and go, he remembered me. And it shows their driver's license and it says you on it. <laughs> <laughs> Cut, print, new Nickelodeon show. <laughs> the guy who can't remember names. Well, that was interesting about the whole world thing. I feel like we really underwhelmed that. Hey, <laughs> I'd like to be in Resident Evil and shoot zombies and make out with Wesker while I shoot zombies. So, that would be cool. Oh, that's going on my list. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, yeah. Or, or a Barbie game. That might be interesting. Ride horses. Would you have the bad, would you have, like, the bad mechanics like some of them have, though, when you try and move? Yeah, like, <laughs> fucking robot it. Be like... Barbie, let's go save China. <laughs> or that one where you can like roll and uh, do somersaults and not move. That's this and just stay one. In the same spot. Yeah, actually, I did play that one. Wow. Oh, and Garrett just played that recently too, and it was. You know what's funny, is that I'm st I started the crappy game of the month, which is really turning out well, you guys. Cause, oh God, like Paul, the glitches. Okay, I'm just gonna say it's called Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. I've got like an hour of recording already and I'm on level 3 there's 20 levels so ha that's gonna be fun because it's really bad like at one point the game died I was trying to go pick up a weapon and then the game just paused and then a whole bunch of like throw up of like sparkles were on the screen and it was the uh, N64 just not wanting to process the information <laughs> but there's a part where Indy's butt gets stuck in a wall and it's really loud <laughs> So it's pretty, no, it's funny. I, I, God, I can't spoil when, when, too much. When is, when is that going up on your channel? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe tomorrow? Maybe? Maybe even tomorrow? I don't know. I always upload during the work week so I can just go to work and upload. But probably tomorrow. Ideally, I haven't rendered them yet, so I'm being lazy. I have that too. I always have a big backlog of things to render. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing is, I already have, like, a ton of Super Mario Galaxies uh, already done up, so I'm like, oh, sh crap. But I want to get this done in March, because it's the crappy game of the month, you know? Keep it with March. So. No, I, I like how you do um, themed stuff like that. I don't have anything that's... I'm never that organized where I have every, anything that's ever a theme. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm never that organized. Okay, it's the new year, and I just did the first crappy game of the month this year on March. That's pretty... I'm unorganized, okay? Like, no, no, but still, like, I've watched your channel for a long time. You've got, like, a theme with Crappy Game of the Month. That's a good idea. And you've mm -hmm. done some cool, well, some crappy, interesting games. Mm -hmm. I think the that one that I said I'd never talk about again, but I actually watch. I never really watch a lot of my own work because I don't really care. Till recently, I've actually enjoyed it, but the DECA Sports one, I think, is probably the best crappy game I've ever done in my entire life. Mm -hmm. The part about Tony is probably the hardest I've ever laughed at any of your videos, so... I, I need to buy one of the ice skating games for the Wii, so I can continue that legacy of the announcer. <laughs> like, Tony, oh, you're the best dancer. If you don't know what that is, hop on over to my channel and take a look. If you don't like it, I'm not forcing you to watch it, just makes sense. Sales. It makes sales. How in the world do we get to the next segment? I don't know. What is it? Hold on, don't t say it, I'll transition it myself. Okay, it, it was your idea, so. You know, what's even weirder about my fantasies about men is the injuries, injuries I've sustained in my life. Have you ever had a weird injury, Paul? Uh, yeah, I think your story's gonna be more interesting than mine, though, that set up. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I've, well, I've had funny injuries. I have a lot of injuries I can't talk about, because I was doing naughty things. Um, well, I can talk about this one. I was making out. <laughs> I was making, <laughs> you can go ahead and interject at any time if you want. <laughs> no, I want to hear the story. Okay. I'm all ears. I was making out on, like, a 
the rim of a bathtub. And, um... We were getting kind of aggressive, and I fell back into the bathtub. And it really hurt, but I was trying to play it off like it didn't. But it was a really loud sound in the bathtub ceramic, so it went like, Kong! And <laughs> and uh, we made out, and we were kind of just touching each other, of course, whatever. Don't want to get too... Certain things happen! And then when I got up, we were like, yeah, whatever, we're done making out. I have the this giant sore on the back of one of my spine things. You know where your spine, there's the, not bumps, but the... The vertebrae? Yeah, the vertebrae. On one of the bumps, I had, by shifting my weight around, I had ripped off a ton of skin through my oh. shirt. Yeah, I had ripped off. So I had, like, this <laughs> giant, giant, giant welt and bump on my back that was just bleeding really badly from making out. So if you kids are going to make out, uh, make sure that... You have protection because it might escalate. Also, <laughs> don't do it on a bathtub rim. And when you fall and hurt yourself, tell your partner that you are indeed hurt and try not to play it off. I do think it's really cool though, to sustain an injury during making out, but... That's know. a pretty serious injury for just making out. Well, I mean, there's worse that's happened to me, but I can't talk about, so... So that's my first weird injury. That's not the weirdest, but that is definitely a weird one. What about you? Well, my story doesn't quite compete. It's not as um, sexually appealing, but... <laughs> yeah, it's I, so appealing to have your skin ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> That's hot! Rip off some more. Yeah! You know. No, um, like right now, uh, where, when I'm sitting right here, I, f I feel like I have a canteen, like I'm wearing one behind me. <laughs> okay. I'm not. I'm not wearing a canteen. She, L like the, I'm the wearing one. can see me. The drink. Water. Because years, the years and years ago... Um, I was out with a bunch of my friends. We were playing laser tag, and uh, we were at Ooh, my fun. grandma's place. And she has this big, old-fashioned driveway. You drive up, and you can drive around. And I'm waiting at the thing. front of it because one of my friends is late. And I got all my gear on. I got this like army belt, and I got a canteen on the lower, like back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so my friend shows up, and I, I just sit on his hood, and I'm like, okay, let's go up. So he starts to turn up the driveway, and then he just fucking guns the vehicle and turns. Oh shit. <laughs> And so, like, at that point in time, because I'm sitting right over the wheel well, I'm like, one of two things is going to happen. Either I try and hang on, I'm going to get dragged under the wheel, or yeah, I just, or let, just go. let go. Yeah, or just let go and go flying wherever. And it's amazing how fast you can make that decision. And so I was like, I'm going to oh, yeah. just let go. And the next thing I know is, here comes the sky, here comes the ground, here comes oh the sky, here comes God. the ground. I'm just, like, tumbling. Did you beat the shit out of your friend after that? No, because, like, when, after that, and I landed, like, on the canteen. Like, so I can still feel it to this day. But, um, no, after that, I'm looking up at the sky and nobody's around me. There's like some period of time that I got a concussion or whatever that I don't remember. Oh my God. Because years later, That's years crazy. later, I asked some of my other friends, I was like, why didn't you beat him up? And they're like, we came over and asked you and you said, don't. And I don't remember <laughs> any of that. Wow. I just remember laying on the ground, looking up and being like, why is nobody here? That wasn't fun. That's weird. That's weird. I've never gotten a concussion before, so. Wow. And so all these years later, I still feel where that canteen was, kind of my lower left backside. Mm hmm Your little lower left canteen. The canteen is with you in spirit on your butt cheek. <laughs> well, it's kind of the hip, but yeah. Yeah, you know, in that general area. That was a, I bet that was a time you uh, would never forget. <laughs> Put that in your summer diary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get get back to smooth jazz. Anyway, that is a weird injury. I uh, don't think I've ever. I didn't actually. I thought you were gonna go somewhere else with it because I've had. Okay, this is this is actually really weird, but <laughs> so you know those giant. Uh, you know how for keyboards or sometimes phone chargers or internet routers, the power cord has like that giant block of a thing for this thing that goes in the outlet. I forget what that those are even called. But, yeah, there's stuff that has that. I thought you were going to go, with your story, I thought you were going to say that you landed on the ground and the canteen hit you on the tailbone. Because that, have you had that happen before? Have you got hit in the tailbone by anything? No, I haven't. It hurts really bad. I was, like, being a kid and just bullshitting around, and I was like, well, I'm going to sit down, but I'm going to, like, kind of fall down and sit down, you know, because I was like, it's funny. I've done that before, where I just kind of fall on the ground and go pop, and it's like, okay. So, yeah, you know where this is going, you guys. So there was one of those things, and it wasn't plugged into the wall outlet, and it was just kind of hanging out with the prongs facing up. And I was like, yeah, whatever. And then I sat down, and it hit me right on the tailbone. 
and it bruised my tailbone, and it hurt so bad. That's a weird injury, if I ever had one. <laughs> also, my lip sealing up was weird, too. Your lip sealing up? I got a staph infection on my lip where, this was a long time ago, where the corner of your mouth is, and to try and compensate for the damage it was doing, it grew skin, and it grew half, not halfway over my lip, but maybe a third of the way over my lip, so my mouth was starting to cl close. I know you guys are like, damn it, why didn't it go all the way? Because, <laughs> like, now to this day I'm talking, but that was the creepiest injury I ever had, is that it was like... This, that's not really injury, though. It's more like disease thing. But it's an injury. That's still you know? one hell of a story. Not most, pe most people can't be like, yeah, my mouth almost closed itself shut. <laughs> I, I know my brothers got a uh, pink eye and their eyes almost closed forever, which is great. That's that's beautiful. Go ahead. <laughs> I, didn't have, I didn't have anything. I was just listening to <laughs> You're just like, Sorry. you're like, honestly, I wish you guys could see Paul right now, because he's just like, kind of shaking his head, kind of bobble-heading it, and like, just in little increments of going like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, what is- Well, I, I can't, I can't compete with any of those stories, um. Yeah, you can. Have you jumped off a trampoline head first? No. Oh, I know a kid who did that. He was dumb. He got up and he started, <laughs> he started throwing up when he got up, and I was like, no shit. But he, he got a concussion, and it was like, well, whatever. Oh, and I feel bad for laughing. No, it's fine. I mean, like, he's a fine, he's fine. He's a fine kid, I'll tell you what, no. He's fine, he wasn't, you know. But he's just being an idiot. I know, I, I was jumping on a trampoline once. God, I do have a lot of weird injury stories. My foot got bit by a dog while I was on a trampoline because there was this dog that liked to run around the trampoline and every once in a while he'd go under the trampoline and he would poke his teeth through the trampoline while you were jumping so he would wait for your feet to come down and bite them. Yeah, you that jump sounds like up like a horrid dog. <laughs> it was hilarious. You jump up into the sky and you look down and there's this pair of jaws coming out of the fucking trampoline. And I got bit that way. I had to go to the doctor for that because, you know. Wh whose dog was it? Uh, it was a friend's dog, neighbor's oh. dog. There's a little short. It was like a corgi and it was so cute. It was a corgi and a border collie mix. It was very cute. It's just like a short border collie. Little stout legs. Yeah, but it sounds like the dog was an asshole. No, he was nice. He just had one of those weird, you know, like weird animal things where it's like, oh, I have the laser pointer. Now my dogs are going to flip the hell out. He's a nice dog, so I don't know why that happened. Has any animals inflicted pain on you in a weird way? Emotional pain. You're like, one time I was trying to kiss this cat. She wouldn't kiss me. <laughs> so no, I don't understand why people face. kiss animals. I'm like, ew, that's how diseases happen. Oh, yeah. You're too good for that, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too I'm good like, yeah, to I'm kiss your little poochie on the face. Your little poochie. <laughs> See, I was gonna be like, yep, I'm too good to kiss that pussy, but then you... I said poochie, though, so you could... Yeah, I know. I was talking about the dick, but whatever. You know what? I'm sure I'm ruining this entire show. You, you're not ruining it, and no, I don't want to kiss anybody's dick. Uh, uh, who, who calls the dick a poochie? Like, if I was dating someone, they're like, show me your little poochie, I'd be like, you're not helping the scene right now. <laughs> if I was it's a not guy, working. the scene, the scene, you're like, I have a specific idea, <laughs> the Klieg lights are up, she's wearing the negligee, you're ruining the scene with your poochie, and he just has his thing out, and he's like, rough. Well, I think people are going to lose a lot of respect for me, if they haven't already. Why? Because I'm silly Billy. I'm also... Yeah, that's, that's why people love your LPs. The world uh, needs some silliness. That's why Monty Python was so successful. I thought they were successful because... Ooh. Because they were they are, acrobats? Because they were a flying circus? Nah. Well, yeah, I do like that. I do like the caveman guy coming out of the ocean going, It's... <laughs> You're like, whoa. No, I was going to say because they were attractive, but then I thought about it, and I was like, not a lot of people think the Monty Python attractive. I think the guy who played Sir Lancelot was attractive, but that's just my personal... You're the first person I've ever heard who were like, I think they were successful because they were good-looking Englishmen. <laughs> like, but they were funny. That's They the, were the really show funny. Was... Well, I was trying to downplay, as I always do, I was trying to downplay what you were saying and be funny and be like, oh, Paul, you're so wrong. And I was like, ah, nope. One point for Paul and zero points for me, because you got that one right. Buster. Yeah, I'm, a I'm a winner, finally. <laughs> you're a polite winner. You waited for me to finish my thought. 
Also, for you people at home, Paul is wearing the most distracting shirt ever. The buttons on his button-up look like biohazard signs. Not the black one you're wearing, the other one over it. Look, they look like biohazard signs. No, they kind of do. You have yeah. a very good eye. <laughs> or bad eyes, since they kind of do. <laughs> All right. Oh, Paul's getting tired, so I guess we should, <laughs> we should go to our next segment, folks. <laughs> I was just rubbing my eyes a second, because I only woke up like a half an hour or an hour before we started recording. Is that going to be the weird injury that you rubbed one of your eyes out? That would be disgusting. Wouldn't that be gross if that happened on the podcast? Yeah, I would be like, save this recording, please. <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say, too. Not like, going to, this is gold. This is gold. Save it all. We're putting like, it in. Ah! <laughs> eyes burning out. Like, oh, shoot. You guys, uh, we're selling um, Paul Rodenberg's you- Eye Jam on eBay for... That sounds like some bucks. 90s. That sounds like some 90s game. Yeah, because you know the 90s, they're all about selling eye jam. Remember the well, kids like and their jackets? And Earl, oh. or Earthworm Jim. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Yeah. Wow, Paul, enlighten me more. Tell me more. Take over the show. I would like to know, Earthworm Jim, I would like to know who came up with that idea. Someone's like, I got an idea for a superhero. They're like, we're listening. It's a worm. <gasps> oh, crap. Why did I not think of this before? Think of all the money, the merchandising. I would think somebody's like, that's not going to work. He's got a worm suit. Gold. <laughs> Platinum. <laughs> He's got arms. Platinum. He does have arms, doesn't he? I don't remember anything about Earth Germ. Earth Germ. Yeah. Earth Worm Jim, except for. <laughs> If anyone knows what Clay, I, I, I love you. It's like you're just trying to be a part of that. I like Earth Germ Jim too. <laughs> germ Jim. No, you're. Oh God, I. My talking is. Oh God, don't get. That's started. twice. Uh, that's the most I've heard a woman say "Oh God" in a long time. Mm. Really? Not when you. <laughs> I'm used to that too. That's how it is when I'm on a date. This is going well. Mm. Mm. I was gonna say like it wasn't when you were like, uh, honey, you wanna wanna come home with me? Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! No! I got a lot of women who say that, that to what, me that, too. That, that, that's not normal. That's not a normal reaction. Uh, you know, I wouldn't know what a norm- normal reaction is because I never get a normal reaction from people because I go for people who are unique. <sighs> Isn't everyone unique? Unless there was like clones. Do you have clones in your army base there? Your James Bond base? Uh, d- we're working on that, but no. Oh. I don't. I have a... I have a couple of... Do they come out bad? Is it like an arm and like a dick and <laughs> three feet? No, that was how they're supposed to come out. <laughs> <laughs> we have a the self... F- a self-jerking machine. <laughs> it turns itself on. It turns itself off. It turns itself off. Oh, God, you guys. I wonder if I we're going to every... upload this. Sorry. Are we going to upload this? We will. But it's just funny. You look at your face, you're like, yeah, baby, we're going to upload this. <laughs> I just feel like I'm, I'm being extra really dirty today. Oh, I'm sorry. We can clean it up. No, no, no. Don't clean up your act, boy. No. This dirt's part of the paint now. Since we're talking about all kinds of sexual stuff, I was going to be like, I need sexual healing, but that's not the appropriate time wake to bring up, it to that. Get up, get up. <laughs> that's a desperate call. Hey, I'm- Hey everybody listening, I need sexual <laughs> healing. You need like, to get yeah, closer that's... to the microphone more. Sounds good. Why it sounds like a what? It sounds good. Do it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but hey <laughs> Hi, so, <laughs> Paul needs se- Hey you guys sitting there at home. I want you to give your body to Paul. Not me. I just imagined you laying in the tub injured and singing the <laughs> sexual healing song. <laughs> injured and singing. That's me. <laughs> That's how I'm going to go, man. After the car accident, the EMTs are going to pull me out of the freaking car. I'll have no lower body and I'll be like, be like, for the longest time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a passive aggressive way to say that they took forever? Yeah. Okay, actually, if they, if they take too long, then yeah, I'll say that. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> just scream and cry as they cart me I off. I imagine Billy Joel's there to back you up when it happens. I would hope he would be there to back me up. If I was dying, I want someone to be there. Or to be alone. 
Either or. I'm fine with that. So, guys, request for me if I die. If you could be there, that would be really nice. I love you. Because here we are. Here I we are. Love we're having you. the fun. We're having the fun, silly talk about mm. dating and girls and songs. We were talking about dating? When were we talking and, about dating? And then all of a sudden you're like, when I die, I don't want to die alone. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa, we just hit a wall right there. Oh, dude, see, you know what? Because that's uh, life. Life is com- comedy and tragedy, but you got to make sure that while you're well, bullshitting around, you got to get these major details out of the way. Calm- so, so, you're, so you're saying you're having anxiety. You're like, oh, man, I don't have anyone scheduled for my death. I better do that now. I do think about that sometimes. I'm serious. Usually when I'm in the shower. <laughs> Is this going to be a thing then when I'm dying alone? I'm going to be like, why did I make fun of her? I should have scheduled someone for my death, too. I would laugh so hard if that actually happened. Thanks. My ghost would be like, ha, see? (laughs) And then I'll be like, who who did you get at your, you know, your dying? Did you get Josie and the Pussycats or something or whatever? (laughs) to, To come play? No, but you said Billy Joel was there when I was dying. Are you going to get the pussycat Why would my Josie and the Pussycats? That's not... Because... Is that the kind of music it looks like I listen to? No, but it looks like what you deserve. Oh. <laughs> you deserve Pussycats around you I while deserve... you're dying. Why? Oh, what are we going to die of? What do you think you're going to die of? Old age? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Probably have my heart explode. <laughs> Boom! Probably. And then all the Be women like... run in the rain of your blood. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty kinky thing we're going on right now. I didn't think that's kinky. That didn't do it for me, me dying and my heart exploding. Well, it did it for everywhere. the women. God. Jesus. I hang out with some weird women then. Yup. I'm one of them. If you want to send your heart to me, um, I'll start a P.O. box. Just gotta tell me. Okay. What were you saying? Uh, oh, were you saying anything, Paul? I don't think he heard us. Um, you talking to my heart? N- no, I'm not talking to anyone. Don't Are there me. organ thieves in the room I don't know about? <laughs> organ thieves. I just imagine a ninja-clad guy playing a church organ. <laughs> He's like, Whoa! We are so bullshitting today. It's wonderful. Uh, I'll be like, wow, you're really good, Organ Thief Ninja. Could you do my wedding? You're really good at the organ. He's like, uh, uh, like sure. <laughs> Wait, what organ is he playing? Like the musical kind or he's playing like a harp? I, I think he's... Oh, good question. Ah, uh, see what I... What, I was... what, what are the heart sound? <laughs> <laughs> like, Go back to the other one. That's, that doesn't sound so good. And... Amazing grace, how <laughs> sweet he sings too. I stole your organ. I hope that's not how I go. I hope I go in a variety of ways. I don't think you're gonna die more than once. I was gonna make a born again joke, but I guess I shouldn't do that. Anyway. <laughs> oh, dude! You gonna be like, I'm dead to sin, so I can like now get hit by a car or something? Yeah, sorry. no, I got hit by a car, and then I realized I was dead to sin, and then I was like, Oh, I'm actually not dead. <laughs> Hookers, come on over here! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> uh, you crack me up. Well, everybody, I think that just about does it for us. I'd like to thank all of you who have listened to the podcast and the one prior to that. We're having a lot of fun doing this. I know I am. Well, why wouldn't I have fun when it's playing with myself? Oh, sexy podcast noises. Oh. <laughs> uh, I hope to see you all next time. I'm walking away embarrassed and ashamed.